What is up guys, Calvin here with Pascal's Fitness. Today we're gonna go through a shoulder, a shoulder press tutorial. So I'm gonna teach you like my tips and like the basic movements of a shoulder press and what you wanna do to get like a better workout out of your workout. Uh, a better workout out of your shoulder workout and have like more rounded shoulders and uh, just like bulkier look in general. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first movement that we're gonna do, we're gonna do two movements today, the seated shoulder press and the standing military press. So, okay. Well, basically, pick up your dumbbell, sit down. Uh, the bench is around 90 degrees on the side. There's a few, a few things that you really wanna know is you want your lower back and your butt to always be against the bench and uh, your upper back as well. You wanna like stick to it the whole time. There's gonna be a little bit of gap, a uh, little bit of curvature like right behind and that's fine. Uh, that's actually better because it's like the, just your natural spine uh, curvature. So let's get started. So you get the dumbbells up directly above your shoulders and align with your elbows and you keep your back tight, keep your core tight, suck your belly button in and you just press up, come down, press up, come down, Press up. Okay, a few things that's key here is that you don't, you don't want it to be in front of you or behind you too much. So, meaning that if you have the dumbbell like here, you're putting a lot of stress on your front part of your shoulder, like your rotator cuff, and it's gonna hurt you. And if you put it too back, you're like overstretching your pecs and everything, and it's gonna like destroy all the, all the stuff inside. So, another thing is when you do your shoulder press, you wanna get down below, a bit below 90 degrees, because you wanna have a full range of motion, like that, and then stretch your deltoid out more, stretch your shoulder muscles out a bit more, and uh, you don't you don't wanna do a half rep, like you just don't, you don't wanna be a person to uh, have, the, have the dumbbell, like just here, and just going like this, because uh, that upper part, like that upper movement that you're just doing here, you're kind of just working your tricep and not your shoulders. So uh, that's pretty much it for this. Always remember to full range of motion. To have a full range of motion, all the way down, break 90 degrees, come up, all the way down, come up. And uh, don't do half reps because I'm gonna unfriend, I'll unfriend you. you. Yeah, we will unfriend you. Okay, so next up, after the seated shoulder press, we're gonna move on to the standing military press. I like to put these two movements in the beginning at the start of the workout because they're like the power movements and uh, the strength stuff. It's not like accessories. If you wanna get bigger shoulders, you gotta do these right, you know? But then go on to the accessories, which are also important, but we're gonna talk about these two first. Okay, so the second one is standing military press. So what you wanna do here is you wanna have your all your weight kind of equally distributed on your foot, but a little bit more on your heels. And you want your toes to just grip the floor to have a better stance and a more stable stance for your, for your movement. So for the sake of my movement, I'm gonna clean it up and have it here first. And what I'm gonna do, keep my core tight. So suck your belly button in. Suck it in and activate your stabilizers. And I'm not gonna use my legs to push up because it's for shoulders, not legs. So do, do your rep right. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna push up here. Get it up right above your head, come back down. Touch your chest, come up. Touch your chest, come up. Touch your chest, come up. So the whole time that I'm doing this movement, the weight's gonna be directly above my elbow. So I'm gonna be pushing here, and it's always gonna be aligned. So if you look from the side, when I'm doing this movement, the barbell is always gonna be in line with my body. One straight line up. So my head's gonna tilt a bit forward just to help the alignment when I get all the way up. So, here it is. Okay, pull up, align. One straight line down to the floor. Touch it, get up. Touch it, get up. Okay, another key factor here is that some people like, their shoulder's not as flexible. So you can change your grip up a bit. Sometimes you have a wider grip closer grip depending on your flexibility. But ultimately, you want your hands to be around shoulder width apart. Have it up. And yeah. And you want to have full range of motion, touch your chest, come up, focus, 
Touch. Up. Up. Oh, and another thing is that you don't want to over arch your back when you're doing the movement. You don't want to lean back too much. So that's going to hurt your back. So have a normal spinal curvature. Uh, a little bit of arch is fine. And you don't want to compensate with your legs or your back. You just want to push up and down. So. And uh, both of these movements, I would recommend around three to five sets, around 10 reps to 12 reps. It's kind of like a bodybuilding style, but yeah, that's pretty much how you build up the shoulders. And uh, that's one movement. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys again next week.